Today, I wanted to share with you my newest acquisition, which is an Adler J4 manual typewriter from 1967. I purchased this beautiful baby on Etsy through a seller named Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Uh, and if you are looking for a typewriter, she's really wonderful to work with. Uh, she's very communicative and speedy shipping, and the typewriter was really well packed. What are you doing, Mr. Bean? And she also has a YouTube channel, which I recommend looking at if you're looking for a typewriter, because all of the typewriters that she lists in her shop, she actually makes, that's a bad idea. She actually makes a video about, and so you can see how it works and hear how it works. And she also, <clears throat> excuse me, she also <laughs> uh, has some informative videos as well on just typewriter basics, which are really helpful because if this is if you're new to these machines, there's just little things to know about or to watch out for that maybe aren't uh, intuitive. So, anyways, <laughs> I wanted to share with you this typewriter today uh, and take a closer look. I have some new journaling ideas that are kind of brewing in my head for 2021 that might be a little bit different than what I've done in the past. So we'll talk about that. Okay, so before I talk about some of my journaling ideas, I wanted to just share a little bit more thoughts that I have on this typewriter. Uh, it is, well, <laughs> It has a lot of personality, and I know that is a very subjective opinion. Uh, well, it is an opinion. It is just that. There's really no way to measure this opinion of mine, uh, and it's very personal. But it has a lot of personality, and that's something that I am really drawn to in my everything, really. All the objects that I have, or the instruments, or the pens. I, I don't know, I'm drawn to those things that have a story to tell, or seem like they do. And this one happens to, to be just that, which is really nice. So I am calling her Peggy, and that's just a name that popped into my head. I know it's not very original. It's probably a name that Many women were named in the 1960s, but alas, her name is Peggy as well. So her keys are weighty and heavy. They feel solid and substantial, but still are really easy and soft to use. And I don't know how to quite explain it, but this typewriter doesn't feel like it's a machine that will tire me out. Uh, the Olympia Deluxe that I have also has very heavy weighted keys but I feel like you have to put a lot more effort into each key strike. Uh, it's much more deliberate, whereas this one, I find I can be a little bit more lazy in my typing intention. It's a plastic body, which I wasn't sure what that would feel like. Um, I worried that it would feel breakable, but honestly, it still feels like a very solid, substantial machine. It came with a case. I did travel with it up to the mountains recently, which was really fun. Although I I don't know when visiting people when to pull out a typewriter because it kind of takes up space and it's also really loud. So I only typed once uh, and maybe if I was staying for a longer period of time, I would have typed more with it. But it's not as subtle as just pulling out a journal and writing. Speaking of journals, <laughs> uh, I have this idea that's been floating around in my head because I've wanted to incorporate more of the typewriter into my daily journaling. And I do have a whole folder full of random journal entries or random thoughts uh, throughout that, that I typed up throughout 2020. And they're not organized and they're all loose leaf paper and they're different size pages and different types of paper. And it's kind of a mess, but I enjoy typing sometimes. And it doesn't, I haven't been able to figure out how to combine my daily journal with the typewriter as well, because I don't wanna just abandon the pens either. So the idea that I have is actually to try out for the very first time 
a six ring binder for my journal. That way I can, first of all, pick any paper I want to use. So I can use fountain pen friendly paper. And if I want to type an entry, I can just unclip the binder, pull out a piece of paper, type on it, and then set it back into the journal. So I can change depending on my mood or where I'm at. I can either write a journal entry with my fountain pens or with a typewriter. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I have seen some videos on people journaling in six ring binders. I find them really enjoyable to watch. Although um, it's just not ever been something that has been on my radar up until recently when I've been trying to brainstorm different ways to incorporate typing into my journal. I've even thought about gluing in sheets to my journal, but then that just bulks it up so much and I'd rather not do that. So I think this will could be a good solution and we'll see how that goes. I'm excited. <laughs> so anyways, uh, this going back to this typewriter, it's got a much softer sound and a charming little ding when you get to the end of the carriage. And it just, it works really well. It's super reliable. It's really comfortable to type on. I think I could write for hours straight with this typewriter. And I'm just really happy with it. And I'm super excited to have it in my little collection. Thank you all for watching. Again, happy new year, happy 2021. I'll talk to you soon.